Hey defenders, welcome back to our channel. So welcome back to our uh, 365 days of cyber security challenge where I give you tips and tricks every single day throughout the year. So today what we are going to be seeing is about the web pen testing series and we are in challenge number 15. And this challenge number 15 falls under the intermediate category where it falls under the stage 2. Okay, upon clearing this particular challenge, I get to earn 5 points. Upon using the hint or clue that is available, I get to lose one point. And I can see close to 41 people have already tried in this particular challenge and lost with the wrong password. Okay, how do I clear this challenge? Let's read this challenge through. Okay, Binod Sendhil figured out the latitude and longitudes of the place. He heads out to figure out that the base he came from is now locked. He tries to unlock the door with the code, but it is unable to extract the code from the, from the file that gave you the codes before. He needs to figure out the codes before it becomes too late. Right? So what do I need to do? I need to download the file which is given as code.rar. Let me first download code.rar. Okay, I have downloaded code.rar. As you all are already aware, what is a RAR file? RAR file is a compressed file format. It is a file format like zip, .7z and so on, right? So I click on it. I open the file with WinRAR, right? Upon seeing this, I notice there is a file already inside this called app bin, right? So let me extract this to a folder called test, right? So there is a folder called test that is there and there is a file inside this folder called app.bin. Let me try opening app.bin. Okay. Okay, please pay attention to this. When I open this file, I'll open it with the word wrap on. Okay, this file is app.bin. And I opened this app.bin, you can notice the file name on the title bar. So please pay attention. What is the first line already saying us? It says it is PK. PK stands for packaged file or compressed file format. You can actually see this as a header, not just on a RAR file, but also on a zip file, also on a uh, 7z file and so on. And if you notice, I'm sorry. I'll open notepad. Okay, I'll just drag and drop this app.bin here. When I do that, please pay attention. There is PK file available, which is package file. And also, there is something called app.exe, which is available, right? What is app.exe? It is a uh, spoiler saying that there is a file called app.exe inside this particular uh, compressed file format. But is this file uh, name giving away that it's a file compressed file format. No, it is not. It says app.bin, right? So what we would think, we will think it's a binary file or a kind of a flash file. But opening the file on a text viewer gives us the information about the header saying that it is a compressed file format, correct? Okay, now the compressed file format has app.exe. So what I have to do is, on the last line also, it is clearly telling it is app.exe, okay. Now, I rename this app.bin to app.exe, sorry, because it was a package file, right? So, I have to say .zip or .rar, okay, please pay attention. Now I open, there is another exe file called app.exe inside this file. That's what we saw on the header, right? Okay, now I just drag and drop. This is the file that we want. Okay, it is saying enter the username and password. <clears throat> so now it is posing as the second level of challenge. The first level of challenge was more to do with a web application, right? This second level of challenge is to do more with the exe, right? So it's more to do with reverse engineering. Right. So let me open this.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity.